Welcome back to my channel. I'm here at Costco once again. Unfortunately, there are some talk of another shutdown here where I live. So I'm about to go into Costco and try to stock up for a month. I'm really hoping so. Woo, let's go. Also, I just wanted to show you guys, I got this new mask. I got here when I won. And if you can see here, it says copper infused. So basically the science behind it is that copper, just in and of itself, like the metal copper, can kill many viruses, fungus, and bacteria. So apparently it's like infused. Just if you've ever used like Norwex racks and they're infused with silver, silver kind of does the same thing. That's why, right, you can watch videos. Uh, you can go check out some YouTube videos after this on the Norwex cloth. Like, once you wipe just with just a wet cloth and it kills all the bacteria on the surface. So kind of the same thought. This is an infused copper mask. So supposedly when you breathe the air in or out, it is helping kill the, the bad stuff. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right, so jelly is not on my list, but the asterisk, gonna get one. All right, guys, as y'all can see behind me, just finished my haul and I'm loaded up and ready to head actually to the water tree to get our alkaline water. But that was a massive haul, guys. I'm so excited to show you what all I got. I got a lot of new stuff. They had so many great deals. Um, a lot of really healthy snacks on sale. And I also got some other foods that can replace vitamins. So that is what I'm really interested to show y'all. So if you are a Costco member and you're not getting your fuel at Costco yet, you should definitely, definitely start. All right, so the good news is, is that that mask did not make me too, too sweaty. Also good news, I am done with the water tree. I'm headed home. Guillermo said the kids are kind of going crazy, so we'll see how the haul video goes. But I really want to show you what all I got today. So here it is all four hundred and five dollars of it all right i'm gonna start off here with the produce i do not actually get a lot of produce from costco because i don't find they have the best deals however bananas are a really great deal as well as this organic spinach it is only like 3.99 or something like that and then went ahead and got romaine lettuce i usually get the organic lettuce but today it was looking really sad and brown so i just got the regular one. Um, then I got some chicken drumsticks, uh, two things of five, they're five dozen eggs each, so 10 dozen eggs. And then Guillermo really likes um, fajita, but unfortunately the ones that I found at other grocery stores have all sorts of like additives and food coloring and whatnot. So I went ahead and picked up this one here, and it's actually called carne asada, but it's very similar to fajita. We've had it before, it's really, really great. Um, moving on, this is one of our favorite sausages. I think last time, maybe in one of my other Costco hauls, sometimes I get the jalapeno, but it is quite spicy and really only us grown-ups will eat it. So I went ahead and just got the regular smoked sausage today. Now, I'm gonna talk to you about uh, the turkey. Okay, so if you watched my last Costco haul, uh, you'll see that I got, uh, it's I believe it's Hillshire, like their natural turkey, and I said something in the video about how it does have carrageenan, and Guillermo, when he watched the video back, he was like, what? We've been eating carrageenan because he knows like I'm so against it, and I was like, babe, you know, anyways, it's going on and on about the other one, so he was like, I don't think we should have it in our house. So I searched Costco up and down, and I found this is what I'm gonna say is now the, the best turkey. And it was actually, unfortunately guys, it had an asterisk, so I got a lot of them. But um, if you can find it right now, it's Castle Wood. And it does not have, it's the same, it doesn't have the nitrites and the nitrates, uh, it, but it also does not have carrageenan. So it has uh, significantly less ingredients than the even the natural Hillshire one. And it was actually ended up being three cents cheaper per ounce 
which is like a win-win. All right, next I'm gonna show y'all the snacks that we got, and they had like so many sales on snacks. I kept like putting some back and switching them out because they were just so many good deals. Um, so here I got the organic roasted seaweed snacks. It's like a pack of eight or 10 of these, and one of these is like all the kids. It's a lot of seaweed in each um, little pack. Next, I got these coconut clusters, and they were on instant rebate, so this bag, I think, was about $6. And it has the pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, and it has like roasted um, coconut, and it's super duper delicious. And you can see it's the coconut, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, the cane syrup, syrup, chia seeds, salt, so it is um, really clean and really, really delicious. Uh, next, these were also on instant rebate, which is very rare. These are really, really good. They're the organic apple chips, and I think these are literally just apples. Yeah, organic apples. That's the only ingredients in those. And um, these go really, really fast in our house because everybody really likes them. Uh, veg veggie straws are a pretty common one that I typically get, uh, but something new that I've looked at but I've never gotten because I've always seen white cheddar, so I didn't get it because of Josiah, but if I would have only read, it says vegan white cheddar, so it's actually gluten and dairy free. They're made, uh, hip peas is because they're, um, they're made out of chickpeas, and so they have a significant amount of protein for a snack, which is good. Uh, it's much more protein than just like your typical like goldfish or something like that. So I'm really, as you can see here, it's protein and fiber. So I'm really excited. These are on instant rebate, rebate as well for, I believe, $4.50 a bag, which is just like crazy good because it sprouts. You get this tiny little bag for like $3. So I'm really excited about that one. Um, then we have our organic chips, which we typically always get. And then I got some Simply Naked uh, Pita Chips. Again, these were on instant rebate. And so I figure I really like making homemade hummus so I can make some hummus. I got these crispy coconut rolls. And again, I would have always thought that these had gluten, but they don't. They're gluten and dairy free. And so this is gonna be a really, really yummy treat for the kids and for me. They're made with real coconut and they have sesame seeds and they are delicious. All right, real quickly, I got some nuts and seeds. I got some walnuts. I got these slivered almonds, which is in the granola that I make. Um, that's primarily where I use it. Maybe put it on top of some oatmeal or something like that. And then I got these um, organic sprouted pumpkin seeds and I love pumpkin seeds. They're really, really high in nutrients and they're a really, really easy snack even for the kids sometimes like almonds are too hard for the little ones to crunch but these are soft enough that they can eat them up and get that extra nutrition um, over here this is sugar I do use it for baking I'm also really wanting to start kombucha again which utilizes some cane sugar so I get like this massive bag but we don't eat all that sugar like by the spoonfuls but it does get used over time now here is the tomato sauce that I mentioned in my last food prep video. I just buy plain tomato sauce. Now it's not organic. If they had organic, that would be excellent, but they don't. But the ingredients are still really good on these. It's just tomato, a little bit of garlic, and I believe a little bit of onion powder. Um, doesn't have any crazy um, preservatives or anything. And it is 309 per jar. And then I just have my own spices and make my own, whether it's pizza sauce or tomato sauce or um, like spaghetti sauce or something like that. So we're gonna go into like some of the pantry staples. Uh, so I, I mentioned to y'all already, I wasn't planning on getting this, but this is one of the best jellies out there and it had that asterisk, so I went ahead and got it even though I have one in the pantry. Then I picked up some almond butter, which is an always thing. Uh, we always get maple syrup. I got two of those. I use that quite a lot as sweeteners, even in baking. I like to bake with either maple syrup or honey a lot of times. Um, and then I did get this chicken bouillon, and I've talked to you guys about this before. Um, it's, it does have some ingredients that are not my absolute favorite, but if you're in a pinch and you don't have homemade chicken broth or even store-bought chicken broth, I like to have this on hand for those moments where, oh snap, I forgot to make chicken broth or whatever. Um, so I like to keep it on hand in the pantry. I also got some organic mustard because I was out, and I am in fact, next time I make the mayonnaise, I am gonna use regular mustard instead of Dijon because I just ran out of that too yesterday. 
Uh, I got some grapeseed oil, and then I got a bunch of cinnamon, garlic, and Guillermo really loves uh, pepper flakes, crushed pepper flakes. So I got these, this was only $2.99 for this huge thing. I was super stoked about that. I got applesauce, it came with six of these. I just only put one on the counter. I use these in those breakfast cookies that I've made, and I use these this a lot in baking. I honestly don't give this as a snack very often either because we would eat more than one jar in one sitting, so uh, I use it mostly in baking. And a special treat for the kids, one of them actually just came and was play sneaking away with one. I did get some of these organic cinnamon rolls. This is not a health food. I'm not telling you eat these and you are going to grow wings and fly because of how healthy you are, but it is at least a better option than your traditional um, other brand that you might find in the store. So it still has sugar, but it's at least real sugar and it doesn't have a lot of artificial flavors, preservatives, hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup. So it at least says made with goodness. So obviously when you're eating this, you're not eating like a superfood, but I do like to have something that mimics what other kids may have because I want our kids to grow up loving the fact that they ate healthy and not feeling restricted and like everything was always no and everything was always taken away from them. So I do splurge on things like this. Again, we'll probably have this like once every two weeks. One, They get one cinnamon roll and then I usually make sausage and eggs on the side. All right, moving into the bread section, I guess. Um, that carb a load. So we've got the uncooked flour tortillas again, the same bread you all saw in my last Costco haul, but today I did get these Einstein bagels, which I'm pretty stoked about, um, because they don't have any mono or diglycerides, which are in so many bagel brands, and it definitely is shown it has issues and can lead to like heart problems and things like that. So I always buy bread products without mono and diglycerides and hydrogenated oils, but I was really surprised to find that th these did not have that. So I'm really excited about that. And then up here, I did get these. I typically make our own pizza crust, but this is the plan for dinner tonight. So I'm hoping that it'll make it even faster. Uh, moving on here, I got some more coffee. And this time I'm gonna try out this new creamer uh, because I know that it's significantly healthier than even the one that I'm already buying. So I'm gonna try this and I will let you know how it goes. Um, I got cheese again and sliced cheese, sour cream, Greek yogurt. I got two of the Greek yogurts. Uh, you know, I use the Greek yogurt for the fruit dip I showed y'all, uh, drinkable yogurt, and for a lot of other things. Even I use Greek yogurt in baking. Uh, this white cheese dip is super delicious. Guillermo and I like to eat this um, at night sometimes after the kids have gone to bed. We do share it occasionally, um, but I only got one tub for like a month, so. Uh, we probably won't share too, too much. All right, these last three items I'm gonna show you is what I'm really excited about because I was telling y'all while I was in the store that these are some foods that you can eat to actually replace some vitamins. So if you listen to very much having to do with healthy lifestyle, I'm sure you've heard how important omega-3s are as well as probiotics. So without any further ado, da -da -da! All right, so I went ahead and picked up some of this wild Alaskan smoked sockeye salmon. That's a lot of adjectives. <laughs> but the number one it is, it is wild caught, which is what you absolutely want to look for. If you're getting salmon and it is from a farm, unfortunately, you're not even getting those omega-3s because they get the omega-3s from what they eat in the ocean and they are not fed the same things and you're not getting the same um, nutritional profile. So. I'm gonna serve this. Actually, I really wanna try it with the bagels, like with cream cheese and then some of this smoked salmon on top. Um, but this is gonna be really great. So if you don't have the finances to put a lot of vitamins in your budget, you can just buy food that has those same things. So the last two things is I went ahead and got some sauerkraut and some kimchi. These are kind of new to me, but I know that this sauerkraut can go good with the sausage that I bought. And I have heard of people putting sauerkraut and kimchi on like salads and such. And these are both so high in probiotics and I'm just super stoked about them. So after that shopping trip, I was incredibly glad that I got those pizza crusts and we had a great time making pizzas for dinner. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Hi.
real fast while the pizza's in the oven I wanted to tell y'all the pepperoni and the Canadian bacon that we get I get this uncured pepperoni by Hormel again no nitrites or nitrates raised without added hormones and things like that no MSG so again this is not like don't eat this every single day of your life but if you're gonna have pizza this is one of the best pepperonis to get and then I like this uh, it's cut open uh, this is from Costco. I did not buy it today. It was from the freezer, but looks like it's Jones Dairy Farm. It's uncured Canadian bacon. And so that's what I get. It comes in a two pack for like $10. So this one of these would be $5. You know, you get two of them whenever you pay 10. So uh, it's a really good deal uh, because like at Kroger or Sprouts or other grocery stores, you'll get a really tiny, probably about that much. I like getting it from Costco and then I just freeze half of it and then we usually use half of it within before it goes bad and then I just pull it out of the freezer like today whenever I need it. Hi. All right, I'm cleaning up from making pizza and obviously there's still vegetables left. I did tell each kid they had to choose two vegetables to put on their pizza. Uh, we also had pineapple but the great thing is that the this right here, I'm just gonna throw it in a zippy bag and it's gonna be super easy to just saute in a skillet real fast, crack some eggs on top and it'll make a deliciously healthy like veggie scramble uh, the next morning. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. All right guys, we did it. We went to Costco, we got the food, we got the water and the fuel, we made the pizzas and now we're done. There you have it, there was our Costco haul today. And I am hoping that y'all are enjoying these videos. Let me know if y'all have any more questions and y'all have a blessed day.